I remember one of the first questions Jesse asked me when I went for my interview was like, what do you what do you think? Because I'd watched the pilot, which was a great position to be in because I'd read the pilot and then they'd shot the pilot. And I think the best, one of the best pieces of television and in like hindsight, most useful, brilliant pieces of television is that opening, if anyone remembers or if anyone hasn't seen Succession, but the central character, Kendall, or, you know, the sort of um, one of the brothers who is fighting to take over his dad's company we see him listening to his earphones, and I think it's the Beastie Boys, and he's rapping along, and we hear him, and we hear the music, and we're there with him, like, rolling in this, like, um, Mercedes or whatever in New York City. And we're with him feeling cool. And then we see very quickly what the driver sees, which is essentially just him rapping along with the tinny music in his earphones, sounding incredibly like toe curlingly embarrassing um and i just thought that was absolutely brilliant because there's no words do you know what i mean it just tells us everything we need to know about how a character sees himself and how he sees the and how the world sees him um but yeah so jesse i remember him saying to you do you think people will like care do you think people can take these characters on and i was like yeah i do and i and i, I did and i still do i did a lot of research in that first series season I'm very interested in the impact of, well, your childhood on the rest of your life, which I think is absolutely key. Um, and I'm really interested in exploring that, particularly the impact of trauma or, or, and so I did a lot of research about what it's like to grow up the child of an incredibly famous, wealthy, important person. And it's really bleak, you know, it's really bleak and the characters do fall into like these you know, case studies that I did, like where Roman, for example, especially in that first season, like just doesn't even, has so little confidence in himself. He can't even do anything seriously. What's the point? You know, dad will never listen to me. Dad will never love me. And obviously he changes and they grow. I think it's, um, I think people loved, it felt genuinely subversive and new and interesting to not try to make you like those characters. And I think probably as a writer in that room, I was pushing much, much more for, can we bring a little bit more about what's making them tick onto the screen? And actually, I don't think they really did that. Like you start to see it, it's it's sort of breadcrumbed along the seasons when we, when we meet their family. And I was in a meeting with someone the other day that says, those credits tell me everything I need to know about that family. And I was like, actually, yeah, I'd never thought about it like that, that they're so powerful. But I also think one of the things, so there was such an appetite for um, succession is because it was, it was because it was around Trump, wasn't it? And it, it was just, it was useful to see, to start to play with the evil that we see in our world, to sort of, to understand it, to start to tell stories about it, because there's things that we, well, certainly me, I mean, I'm much more naive than any of them. I mean, I felt so ridiculous in that room for so much of the time, because they all, I mean, a lot of uh, the writers in that room worked on um, The Thick of It, you know, and Veep, incredibly <laughs> clever, funny people <laughs> who were really clued up about what's happening in the world and like me, and I absolutely wasn't, um, particularly about Rupert Murdoch. I mean, I read the books that I was supposed to read and stuff, but I was really coming from a different viewpoint. Um, but I think it was useful and needed to explore those um, those stories on screen a little bit. And um, yeah, and I think there's a real skill to presenting a character that feels full and rounded, but that doesn't spoon, spoon feed the audience. This is why they're like they are. And I think in the past, I've probably been heavy on the going on you know leaning on the side of spoon feeding a little bit and it's useful to learn how to be brave to give less but also you know you've got you want to see those people on screen like because they're so funny do you have any jokes because the writing is so good that kind of whether you like them or not is immaterial. You want to know what they're going to do next. And then 
I don't, I'm not, no spoilers at all. I'm not going to say any spoilers, but, you know, you certainly see in this series, you start to understand the connection that you've built with the characters over the series. In this series, you start to feel for them more, you know, and I think that's really interesting. I was so lucky to be part of it. Like I always say that. And Jesse is the nicest man in the world as well. <laughs>